Alright guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. So from the title, I guess you guys already know what this is. Um, but then I just want to do an unboxing video of this. Man, uh, I'm really excited for this man. Feels like Christmas came early, not although it's uh, November right now. So without further ado, let's bring out the big boy today man. This is the PS5. Yes, uh, I said in some of my game videos that uh, I'll try to get my hands on one and this is it. And uh, without further ado, let's go into the unboxing. So uh, before we start this unboxing thing, you see that uh, I don't have really much of a space to deal with this. So that video is going to be a little bit choppy, I guess. And uh, just to give you, just to give you guys um, a little bit of how big this box is. Hang on a minute. Uh, let me take a look at what do I have to give you a, you know, a comparison. Let's say, for example, you know, um, I think most of you will have an Ezlink card. Um, this is actually a kind of a um, transport fare card that we use in Singapore. Uh, it's similar to the Pearl card in um, some of the UK countries. Yeah, but anyway, this is the size of like a credit card, a normal credit card. And um, if I place it over here, you can see uh, roughly how big this box is, alright? So, now that you guys have a, you know, size comparison of how this thing is, um, probably I'm going to continue to use this easily cut uh, as a uh, as a comparison item for you guys to take a look, alright? So, now, now I'm just going to remove this and go into the unboxing. So if you guys are thinking about, you know, getting this from a retail shop and then bring it home man i'm gonna tell you this is not a uh, very light console this is very 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 big oh my god okay so uh when you open this up i'm trying to be really careful over here because uh you know uh, my camera stand isn't that high up so um once you open this thing the first thing that you're gonna get is uh over here there's a controller man feels really nice man and uh i don't know how well you guys can see the details but uh over here there's this small little imprint that is actually the uh the cross triangle circle and um square that we hit on these buttons okay so right off the box the first thing that you're gonna get over here at this compartment is the controller feels really nice to hold man compared to um, the normal playstation controller that you have looks a bit bigger uh, and fatter as well yeah so this is the controller and you can see over here it says that R1, R2, L1, L2 okay and um, not sure if there is any other thing that um, should be showing you apparently I heard that the controller is going to be better uh, I'm not sure about that uh, I'm going to try it out and let you guys know so over here you see that there's this button for your microphone and yeah that is most about it I haven't really go into um, anything on uh, any videos of PS5 to take a look at uh, how this thing actually works so yeah gonna give you guys another detailed look or walkthrough on this thing if I can okay so this is the first thing that no, I'm not, not gonna put it back okay so this is the first thing that you get out of um, your PlayStation 5 unboxing okay so the second thing is you're gonna get this your power cord. Uh, what I like so far is that you know they don't have a separate power brick for this thing. It's all built into the PS, so it's good. Okay. Um, the next thing over here is like uh, all your paperwork, 
Yeah, this is all your paperwork over here. So you have your paperwork here, you have your power card here, and you have your controller over here. So I'm just gonna remove all these things first so that it really makes space for me to you know show you the rest of the stuff. I'm trying to be really careful over here because uh because my camera stand is really sharp and it's getting in the way. So bear with me guys. And now here comes the console. So I'm just gonna lay this down and I'm just going to pull the console out. Man, this thing is heavy man. Yeah, so as I'm saying that, um, you know, if you wanted to get this from a retail store and you want to take this thing home on your own, I'm gonna tell you first, this thing is not light. Okay, so uh, it's heavier than the PlayStation Slim or the PlayStation Pro. So the box is already empty. I'm gonna put the box away. So this is the main item the console. Um, probably gonna give you guys the uh, size comparison to the PlayStation Slim in a while. So uh, before I do that, let's just continue with the unboxing shall we? Man this thing is heavy man. It's really really heavy and it's a lot bigger than the PlayStation Slim as well. So uh, I'm trying my best not to drop this thing because it you on know, the wrapper is really really uh, hmm, slippery. Man this is it. The PlayStation 5. So uh the first touch on this, this is actually just a smooth plastic, there's no texture to this, there's really no texture to this. So uh, if you take a look at this, I think this is a top side, yeah this is glossy black, like just a piano glossy black over here. And over here, you can. See, I hope you can see this, this says Sony, okay, and um, if you're doing like this, you flip this is the front, so on the front, Oh yeah, so just to let you guys know that uh, for PlayStation 5, there's two editions. One is the one with the CD, just like this. You can put your CD in and the other one is the digital version. The digital version does not come with this slot over here, so the overall profile is going to be slimmer. Alright, so let's continue with this. So as you can see, this piano black all over. And you're going to see like one, one USB-A port and one USB-C port and um, one eject button and one power button so um, I'm probably not gonna show you the bottom of this because it contains all the serial number and everything for it so uh, this is another side of it there is just totally no texture to this just flat plastic and um, somebody actually told me that the plastic seems like it's gonna break easily I don't I don't feel that way. It's really like very very high quality plastic. Although it, you see that it bends, it's actually quite hard. I don't think that it's gonna break anytime soon. So uh, let's go to the back over here. You're gonna see that at the back they oh my god, don't mean to hit the stand. Okay, so if you see over here there's uh the inlet for your power brick, your uh, HDMI is over here, Ethernet and two USB I think this is actually USB 3, USB 3 ports. Yeah, so uh, hang on a minute. I think I actually get, um, there's, there should actually be a stand. So I'm gonna just put this down right here and I'll be back with the stand. Okay guys, I'm back and um, I hope you guys remember this box. This box is the one that uh, that is on top of your PlayStation um, box. I said um, this box is the box that is on top of your PlayStation uh, 5 box when you first do the unboxing. So over here what happens is that when you open this up, remember that you have your controller over here, your power cord over here, and your 
people work all over here, right? So I realized that under this thing, when you flip it up, you actually have the PlayStation stand. Well, I have to that out and uh, inside there is another PlayStation um, HDMI cable. So, uh, I'm just gonna put this two down and uh, I'm gonna put this box away, alright? The next thing is, this is just a uh, normal HDMI cable. You can choose to use your own if you find that this is actually too short for you. Next, come this stand. Alright, so uh, I heard a lot about this stand. Uh, my friends who got their PS5 have already told me that this stand is actually quite unique. Uh, not so sure about that, so let's take a look, shall we? So, uh, when you take out the stand, the stand is actually just like that. You know, there's a there's actually a, a slope to this. And over here, you have this rubber pad over here, and here as well. Um, hmm. At the back, it just looks like this. And I think you can actually turn this to get a, a screw if I'm not wrong. Like, hmm. This is my first time unboxing this, so I'm not very sure how this works. Okay, so you can turn this thing. You see that this thing is actually separated from this. Can you see that? Like, this one is one piece and this is one piece. So actually, you can you can spin this thing. You see, it actually spins. Yeah. So when you flip over to the bottom. And you spin this, you see that this door is actually open. This this like a trap door or something actually opens. Yeah, and it reveals a screw. So uh, from what I heard is that this screw is actually for you to um, screw it right here so that your PlayStation Five can actually stand. All right. So let's uh, well, let's just try it out right now. All right. So you take this thing out. This screw actually just looked like this. I don't know how well you can say this. Yeah, it's actually just a uh, Phillips screw with a quite a long, quite a long ball thread over here. Okay, I'm just gonna put it here like that first. And um, at the bottom of your PlayStation, you're gonna find a uh, stopper like this. Okay, so uh, so uh, once you get the stopper out, you can actually place it right back into this area over here. Okay, this area over here, you can just place it back in so that you don't lose it. Then spin it back. It is not an easy task to spin this thing, guys. Okay, so you spin it back, and then what you're gonna do is. You are going. Go. You are going to. Uh, hmm. oh, this thing is heavy, man. How are you going to do this with one hand? Okay. So uh, you're gonna do this. You gotta put it in. All right, guys. So I figured this thing out. So how you're gonna fix this is um, simple. Uh, it's not as complicated as you think. So what you're gonna do is, once you got the plate ready, you just need to put it on to the bottom and just slide it in. Okay, there it is all. And you can just put this thing in. So I'm not gonna tighten this because uh, I'm gonna just... Um, I haven't decided on the orientation for this yet, so... Nope, I'm not gonna tighten this thing first. I'm just gonna like, roughly screw it in and I'm gonna just turn it over. And then I'll let you guys see from the top view how it stands, alright? So from the top view, this thing is actually, this is actually quite stable. Even if I didn't screw it in properly, this is actually quite stable. Okay, so let's take a look at how it looks like when you have it fixed on the side. Okay guys, uh, for the side, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip to the back. By the way, it's so cool that you know, I'm just gonna show you this. I just found out that there's this thing over here. If you look closely in, they even have these small details of you know at the side they just print this thing. So cool man. Okay, anyway, uh what you're gonna do is you're just gonna clip this thing 
for the side is uh, really easy you just gonna kick this thing to the side and uh, yeah when you find the right spot it's gonna not gonna slide anymore you see this is the spot and uh, it's not gonna move and you just flip it over and you just put it down and it's really straight you know it's just really flat I like it lying down though so probably this is gonna be uh, the um, the orientation I'm gonna put it on my table then but man this thing is really heavy so I'm gonna give you a comparison with the easing cut so this is the easing cut I'm just gonna put it at one corner so you're gonna see that this thing is really big compared to your PlayStation 4 Slim or your PlayStation 4 Pro alright okay so guys um, I managed to take out my PS4 Slim which is uh, deeply integrated into my shelf oh my god that is uh, like a chore man but anyway um, so this is the PS5 I'm just gonna change the orientation over here so this is here and this is the PS4 Slim yeah I have been recording on the PS4 Slim for a while and I'm so glad that I get my PS5 yeah so this is comparison you know it's like one and a half of that PS4 Slim so uh, if I flip over to the side give me a moment guys yeah you can actually see that uh, they are this is this actually have a um, bigger profile because of the disc slot over here uh, let me just give you a better comparison and yeah this is the uh, size of it so guys uh, this will be all for the uh, unboxing video I hope you like the video and uh, if you like the video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more right I'm gonna bring you more content like this and also gaming so uh, probably the game that I'm gonna test out will be uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales if you go onto other channels uh, the game have already been uploaded in many other people's channel but then uh, just want to bring you guys this if you guys just like to see how I play about play this game and uh, yeah that'll be all so guys um, Thank you guys for coming to my channel and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.